Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to read the manifesto by the mentor. And this little section of our history is about a hacker when he was arrested and how he interprets the world around him. And hacker is sadly a word that has been stolen or borrowed or used by media as a negative word. And I'm not really sure that I want to put a negative connotation to hacker because in my mind, a hacker is a person that is really interested in how something works. And I think that is a very good life skill to be curious, to try to figure out how things work. You don't want to be malicious and destroy things for people or steal things and so on. That could be a connotation of hacker, but you want to be curious. You want to figure out how does this work and you want to fiddle with it and know what it is is all about. So uh, I think this is a very important part of our history and if you like this video and like this manifesto please go and see the movie Hackers. Uh, it's from the 90s. It's very cheesy but it's a good movie and they use this manifesto as a start of the movie and there are a lot of interesting parts and a lot of interesting social discussion going around in that movie. So if you want to have a good hacker movie, go look at that. Frack Inc. Volume 1, Issue 7, File 3 of 10. The following was written shortly after my arrest. The conscience of a hacker by the mentor written on January 8, 1986. Another one got caught today. It's all over the papers. Teenager arrested in computer scandal. Hacker arrested after bank tampering. Damn kids. They're all alike. But did you in your 3P psychology and 90s 50 techno brain ever take a look behind the eyes of a hacker? Did you ever wonder what made him tick? What forces shaped him? What may have molded him? I am a hacker. Enter my world. Mine is the world that begins with school. I'm smarter than most of the other kids. This crap they teach us bores me. Damn underachiever. They're all alike. I'm in junior high or high school. I listen to the teacher explain for the 15th time how to reduce a fraction. I understand it. No, Miss Smith, I didn't show my work. I did it in my head. Damn kid. Probably copied it. They're all alike. I made a discovery today. I found a computer. Wait a second. This is cool. It does what I want it to. If it makes a mistake, it's because I screwed it up. Not because it doesn't like me. Or feels threatened by me. Or thinks I'm a smart ass. Or doesn't like teaching. Or shouldn't be here. Damn kid. All he does is play video games. They are all alike. And then it happened. A door opened to a world, rushing through the phone lines like heroin through the addict's veins. An electronic pulse is sent out, a refuge from the day-to-day -day incompetence is sought, a board is found. This is it. This is where I belong. I know everyone here, even if I've never met them. Never talk to them, never heard from them again. I know you all. Damn kid, tying up the phone line again. They're all alike. 
You bet your ass we all alike. We been spoon fed baby food at school when we hungered for steak. The bits of meat that you did let slip through were pre-chewed and tasteless. We have been dominated by sadist or ignored by the apathic. The few that had something to teach found us willing pupils, but those few were like drops of water in the desert. This is our world now. The world of the electron and the switch. The beauty of the board. We make use of a service already existing without paying for what could be dirt cheap if it wasn't run by profiteering glutons and you call us criminals. We explore and you call us criminals. We seek after knowledge and you call us criminals. We exist without skin color, without nationality, without religious bias and you call us criminals. You build atomic bombs, you wage wars, you murder, cheat and lie to us and try to make us believe it's for our own good. And yet we're the criminals. Yes, I'm a criminal. My crime is that of curiosity. My crime is that of judging people by what they say and think, not what they look like. My crime is that of outsmarting you. Something that you will never forgive me for. I'm a hacker and this is my manifesto. You may stop this individual, but you can't stop us all. After all, we're all alike. Uh, I hope that you found this little reading interesting. I hope that you liked it. Give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any comments for this reading, please leave them down in the comment section. Uh, if you have went out and seen the movie Hackers, and if you liked it, disliked it, or have any comments about the movie, please share them with me as well. It's a movie that I really like, so I would really want to know what you thought about it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.